Hi everyone and welcome to day 12. So today I'm going to have a little look at what a craving feels like, so this is just going to be a short video. I'm going to post a link in the comments to a video that is much longer if you want to do a bit more work on this. But obviously a craving will feel different for different people and you need to know what a craving feels like to you to be able to spot it early on so that you're not unconsciously just reacting to it. It's really good if you can feel when it's coming up and you can just respond with the response that you want or the action that you want to take in this situation. So what I want you to do is start paying attention to what's going on in your mind, what are the thoughts that you're having when you have a craving. Many of us don't even pay attention to that, to the fact that we have thought about it. We just feel the urge to go and get something sweet to eat. We don't really know what's triggering it. So start paying attention to what's actually going on in your head and what, what you actually are thinking. And then I want you to pay attention to what is actually happening in your body. So for me, that probably would be, I get a bit of tension in my jaw and I'm starting to salivate. And that that's probably the biggest sign that I get when I'm getting a craving, but it could be other things as well. Many people actually tend to salivate, I've, I've noticed, but it's, it's, it might be different for you, I don't really know. So what I want you to do is when a craving is popping up, I want you to get a pen and a paper or an iPad or whatever you want, something to write on. I prefer a pen and a paper because I can read it and it's very you just can hold it and you can see it. Maybe it's a sign of my age, I don't know, but it's very useful to just have it there and it can lay on the desk and you can just have a look at it over and over again. It really helps me anyway. And you just write down what what you're thinking about, how the, those thoughts are feeling in your body in terms of the craving. So, for example, it could be thoughts like, I need chocolate or I'm so tired and stressed from work, I just need something or I need a little bit of something to relax, um, I'm just going to have one piece, that won't do any harm, right? And the feeling I have in my body might be tension, especially around my jaw, maybe in my stomach, I'm salivating, those kind of things. Just write them down, get to know your cravings, get to know what they feel like, and try to be as detailed as possible. And it's really good as well because when you know what kind of thoughts you're having, so as soon as you have one of those thoughts, you will recognize it because now you've spotted it. It's like when you talk to someone about purple cars and you think, I've never seen a purple car. And all of a sudden you see purple cars everywhere because you're paying attention to it. It's the same thing when you are finally having a look at your thoughts, you will start paying attention to it. And so you will notice them when they pop up. So you will you will notice these crafty little sentences in your head just popping up and wanting you to eat and they cause cravings so you can kind of stop the whole process right there. I want chocolate. No, I don't. Why would I think that? I don't actually want chocolate. But if you hadn't spotted it, it would be really easy to just go with it. I want chocolate. Okay, I'll respond. That's what many of us do. I know I've done that for many, many years and it's so easy to just go with it rather than actually paying attention to it. So by no just knowing what they are like, you can choose your response. You can choose to respond in a different way. You don't have to go and react to them. You can just choose to, to sit there and allow them. And that is the, I made a video that is called not eating sugar is easy that I usually send people to. And if you want to know how to allow a craving, you can go and have a look at that one. It's a bit longer. I'm going to put the, um, the link in the video description for you. So that's the best video I've done, I think, on how to allow a craving. So what you do is that you just notice what you're thinking, how you're feeling, and then, okay, that's there. But I don't have to do anything about it. Or you can choose to do something else if you want. But that's up to you as long as it's not eating the sweet things. So if you like this challenge, if you like these videos, I would encourage you to just share the videos with everyone. You can subscribe to the channel. You can give it a thumbs up because you know I will be happy if you do that. 
and when I'm happy I will make more videos so please do that and practice allowing your cravings when you have them the more times you're allowing your cravings the better you're gonna be at it and eventually that will be an autopilot as well so you have a craving and you're like okay I see that you do I don't care and then it goes away and that is actually quite powerful it's really it's a big relief when you can do that so I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.